Insert creative intro here! Looks like you've hit us next, so welcome back to Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. In the last episode, we helped the Syndicate with their problems, as bad as that sounds, because freaking the Syndicate needed us, man. We had to hit somebody, except not. And in this episode, we're finally gonna head off to freaking the place that we need to go with the stuff. So, first off, before we even do that, we're gonna talk to this guy, because he has something I desperately want. He has the W emblem. This is an expensive badge of 360 coins. It's the new wave of the future products of this generation, anyway. So, with this new badge, this is a very unique badge. Zero BP, however, changes Mario's clothes into Wario's clothes. So, yes, when you put on this badge, we look like Wario! <laughs> Wario's number one! <laughs> Except not really. So. Now that we have Wario's clothes, we're going to be wearing this throughout the entire next chapter. So if you don't like it, get used to it. You're going to be seeing it throughout the rest of the, uh, this chapter. Anyway, before we even head off to the Parsley Shankdom, I believe was called Parsley Hatch. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, we're going to go talk to this strange, that female meerkat th mouse thing was in here anymore. Ha! <sighs> okay. Uh, we already have that badge. Do we have any good badges? Our tag power went in danger by two. That'd be good for a danger, Mario. Uh, close call, shrink stop. You don't have anything I want. I bid you good day, sir! How dare you sell me crappy inventory! I beseech you, why? Why must you s torture me so? Anyway. So, we're finally gonna head off to the train station make tracks. Come on, baby, baby Yoshi! You said it first, so you have to do it for me because I'm too fat and slow! Yay! Go, go, go! Emails will stop you, huh? Don't stop me now! Emails are just so bad. I'm gonna switch out my partner, even though I pressed the wrong button, but I don't care. Uh, let's get out Ms. Miles right here, because I really want to use it for something. Wonderful! If you don't mind, allow me to take your ticket! I need a throat lozenge! Get on the train! <laughs> Alright, so we're finally going off. Heading off. Nope, you're screwed. Finally, we're taking off on the Texas Express! The most original uh, name for a train ever. And so beginneth one of everybody's favorite chapters. I'm okay with this chapter. It's not, like, awesome riffic or anything, but yeah. Chapter 6! Three Days of Excess. Amazing title. <laughs> I love it! I love it! What change to think about it? Mario's room. Okay. Cool text bubble. Hmm, the Excess Express. Now this is what I call traveling in style. The three days to Pasha Heights will be over before we know it, dearie. Oh. Yep. This is gonna be easy. Hmm? There's something on the floor. Trash, perhaps? When did that get there? I think that's a piece of paper, Miss Mouse. The stuff men are made of! Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or Sticky Yummy Doom awaits it! <gasps> Threatening papers? What does this world come to? Hmm? What a strange threat. Do you think that Beldum woman might be behind it? Well, I mean, I turned. I think you could turn it over the paper and see that she's not on the back side of it, but okay. Well, at any rate, the fact that the note here means the culprit is on the train. We must find this ne'er dweller before he or she can hatch a plan. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a Yoshi! But if you check back here, and you're very observant, and Miss Mouse is sniffing like I don't know what, there is a shine sprite right here you can hammer. Also, if you looked in here, there is a dried shroom. Yay! Pointless health recovering items. So, what I'm actually going to do real quick for you guys is show you around the train, because there's quite a few people we want to talk to and get to know about this chapter, because we're going to get to know these people quite a bit. So, I'm just going to cut to the front of the train. Yeah, I know there's something in this place. whoop de doo I don't care, Miss Mouse. So, I'm just going to cut to the front of the train and work my way all the way back to the back and uh, show you guys what each person does. So, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so what we have right here is the train conductor. Greetings! Welcome to the XS Express. What is it called? The train engineer. Oh, excuse me. Our opulent journey to the Parsley Heights will take you approximately three days. I don't have the same voice as most other toads. I actually had a very nice uh, vocal surgery. Now, how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? What's a big red button do, huh? Our furnishings delight the eye, but sway all of our locomotive delights all else. 
So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah, huzzah! Big red button! Must push! This is a train's operation console. There are many small switches and levers here. Can I push them? Screw you, train! I don't need you. If you look in this room very carefully, there is actually a hidden star piece in here. Yes, they were very sneaky about it. And there it is. So, continuing on our little uh, excursion. Uh, this is the room where you actually get to leave the train, but we can't exactly do that because the train's moving. I mean, for Pete's sake, what were you thinking, man? So, we got a nice looking Adi right here. Uh, to hey, guys. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star Zatoon. I'm going to shoot this little milk ten billion dollar art flicking Pashley Heights, yo. Oh, and uh, I only saw autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. Stuck up, prick. You're not better than me. I'm famous too. I'm famous too. I've started video games. What, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? Why, hello there, you ducky, debonair dish of a man. You, what the frick? You coming on to me? You're smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Yeah, you look like a witch. Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of enchanting aura. Oh, I love you all of a sudden. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. Mario, you got it in for her? What? You talking to her behind my back, man? You got it in for her? Is there anything in this room? No? Okay. Cool. Just wanted to make sure before I left. Because uh, they tend to hide some items pretty precariously in this place. Oh my god! Morbid Leo Beast Tord! I love you! <gasps> Wait, Wild Snorlax appeared. Why, hello there! You know, I used to dream of being one day. <laughs> and now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true! Especially for you, Porky. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to make fun of him. It's just, oh my god, that is just hilarious. Oh, there's something in here, huh? There's something in here. So, if you check in here, there's nothing in here. Um, I got some feeling. Yeah. Good thing I brought Miss Mouse for this chapter. Star piece right there in the corner. Uh, so that room's completely empty. There's no one in there. This is Mario's room right here, so... Kind of odd. Two suspiciously empty rooms right next to each other. Makes you wonder. Except not. Uh, this is the waitress. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. And some people take this train just so they can eat our yummy, fabulous food. For like three freaking days, oh my god, yeah. The irony of this is just so fitting. A fish cooking, a fish chef, now you know. Hello, I am the chef Mimi, Shimmy, excuse me. I am the colonel expert. Glad to meet your acquaintance. Uh, I mean acquaintance, uh, so sorry. Chip Chip is my first language, you know. For this lunch, it's so amazing. It will make your tongue cry out and shit. Please, do taste this, so that my passion does not wither alone in the pot of loneliness. I can taste it? There's a shiny pot. Amazing. Great detailed descriptions. Is there anything in this room? No? What about all those items back there, Miss Mouse, huh? You holding out on me? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're doing to me, man. I know what you're doing. You're lying. You're lying. You just want all that stuff to yourself. No. Yeah. Okay, is there anything in here? Yeah, there's something somewhere around here. Okay. We'll keep an eye open. The frick? Who are you? I'm on my way home. I have strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. Wow, you really have been away a long time, huh? Uh, usually people keep stuff in their drawers. Apparently that guy keeps detective magazines. A penguin detective. That's a first. Anything in this room? Why aren't you derpy? <laughs> Me? I have very important be deal to attend once we arrive in Pashley Heights. Uh, I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes. Aren't you lucky? Anything in here? No. Screw you. Anything in here? No. Screw you. Your room was completely worthless to me. Gah. I don't like you. Okay. Hey, I remember these guys. And apparently Miss Mouse does too. Is there something in here? Something in here. There's something in here. Sir piece. Got it. <laughs> right in that drawer. Okay. Yeah, I'm Bub. And we're gonna go and get a birthday present for me. And it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Yes. <laughs> yes, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done talking to everybody on board, except for those two bombs right there that I really didn't give a crap about. Hello! Wait, let me... hang on. Hello, how do you? And welcome to the Excess Express. I'm the conductor of this train. I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Uh, yeah, we got a death, death threat notice. <laughs> What's that? 
some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I, I see. Good gracious me! If I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. Yeah, well, you better. You better. I'm on to you, pal. I'm on to you. All right, Liz Miles, let's go back to our room since there's nothing else for us to do in here. Because, um, you know, you know, I mean, come on. Come on, man. There's nothing else for us to do. Let's just go take a nice siesta and... What? Group meeting? Group meeting. Group meeting! Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case was a part of the super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Quite the long freaking title, I must say. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. No way! A, my a mystery, you just said? And, um, uh, exactly, what kind of dish is that? The sound effects in this scene are just hilarious. As you know, I'm Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I'm a detective. No, I couldn't de de tell that from the magnifying glass and the creepy hat. At the risk of animosity, you might have a certain nose for the things. And I... In this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, possesses no challenge to me. Ooh! The central clue of this case, and also the most viral one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot of stew and all. And this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, gluttonous one! <laughs> Assuming much? What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I, like, have no idea what you're talking about! <laughs> huh, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills on you. You understand. Yes, sorry. This guy has got to be the best detective in the history of forever. Ahem. Very good. Now, let's get serious, shall we? I thought we were serious. But this, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Yes. Because it's so minuscule? Okay. Yes, let's, let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's all about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit is the Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No! Oh, 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 Mr. Detective Person. So meta- Oh, oh. You're just making stuff up, you you Tweety Geezer. Tweety? Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but... Well then, who did do it, hmm? Huh? This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Um, not really. You're just really freaking stupid, I find. Yeah, y you heard about a sticky, yummy threat? You, my whiskered friend, you have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? What? I was just interested in what you guys were doing, what the frick? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect indeed. Do you mean suspicious? Wait, what? People, I have apprehended the rogue. Yes, I have broken the case wide open. What'd you find in there? He has been sulking about this area the whole time under our very noses. You have a bill. The pot of super stew that vanished suddenly and mysterious bandage is you! What? We just walked here. I don't know who you are or what you're talking about, but you're crazy, man! You're, you're not the bandit, you say. Hmm, indeed. You would say that! Well, if you are not, in fact, the crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence by searching for the real perpetrator. Then we will know that you are, it's not you. Fair. So you're basically going to let me roam around freely, even though you suspect me of being culprit? These guys are the best detectives in the history forever! A clue. There are traces of something on the carpet. Thanks, narrator box. Oh, hang on. This looks like spilled stew on the carpet. Oh, no, you think? How marvel! We could just follow the drops to the thief. It might even be the same person that wrote the sticky yummy threat, dearie. What makes me say that? It takes a thief to find a thief, sweetie. Maybe you did all this and you're just holding out on me. 
I don't know who to trust anymore! Ah! Okay, so we're essentially gonna just follow this nice little gooey yummy trail across the floor. Well, even though it's not gooey yummy, it's just stewy yummy. Stewy yummy! Stewy yummy! Stewy -yummy. And it looks like it stops at this door right here. Right about here. Oh, of course it would be the fat guy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now, uh, what were you saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. Well, I mean, the food trail stops at your room. You're fat. And yeah, it all adds up, man. What? Drops of stew on the floor outside? N no, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. Yeah, I'm sure they do, Mr. Tubby Blubba. No, there's nothing in the drawer. No need to look. You won't find a thing. Well, make it more, any more obvious for me? There are several gourmet magazines in here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There is a large photo of Chef Shimmy on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Fish don't have teeth unless promise. Exclamation mark! There is something under the magazines. You found the gallery pod! It's an empty stew pod. This thing looks like it was licked clean. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me! He confesses to the crimes. So, you were the enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal to devour it more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer? Yes, yes, that's right. I'm sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Yeah, I know you are. You don't have to keep saying that. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir? Huh? Yes, you, with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call the ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As a lone detective on this train, the conductor confided it in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room 6, so that we may discuss this in private. Discuss this in private? I think he's gonna molest me. Oh, and please return to the pot to the chef, if you could. Nope, screw him. He needs to learn better English. Alright. So, I guess we're gonna give the pot back to the chef, because he's like, Oh my god, I need my pot to cook some stuff, and oh my god. So, let's go do that, because we're good Samaritans and all that. Hula bajigus. I don't even know what that means, but whatever! So, you found the beef? Oh wait, I mean, the thief! I am so joyful! Just shut up with your bad English. Oh yes, you are the hero of my world! You have even brought my pots! It is empty, of course, but I will mine, and I will love it, thanks to you, from me! And here's just a little taste of powerful gratitude! Th please, fake it! Ah, uh, Just, just give me it. I, I don't blame you, I mean, you know... Learning another language is hard. I'm just being a jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Shimmy. Shimmy Shanga. Okay. So we're going to go talk to Pingington because he apparently thinks he knows everything, even though he's a horrible detective. Aha, uh -huh, I've been waiting. Yeah, I bet you have. I was rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the once you apprehend is sticky on my content. I have deduced from the lack of incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided, then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. <coughs> really? To reiterate, my name is Paynton. I am a detective from Pushley Heights. Yes. I am known as the Circles, the penguin with the improbably large brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that it will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait. I demand you not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. All this ought to be good. That mustache, that nose. Oh, 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 all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? I'm not even wearing his clothes. I'm not even wearing my clothes. Yet you still call me Luigi? I mean, I gave you two other brothers from another mother. And yet you call me Luigi. Yo, dog, that's messed up. She. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about this threat, a man has declared this intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of Bob Arms, they are identified definitely suspects. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary. The facts and deduce the truth. So, watch this. 
We were too late! They filled the entire thing with sticky yummy threats! No, this is actually Sunset. They don't really tell you that in the game, but uh, yes, the time in the freaking game actually changes as the further you progress during the day. So right now it's actually sunset and it'll become dark later on. So next episode of Paper Mario and the Millennium Door, we're going to go talk to the family of bob -Oms and see what secrets they think, well, Penguinton thinks that they have. So I will see you next time. Later.